As a news reporter here in Europe, I've covered many stories throughout my career. But this one, this one, was the hardest one I ever had to cover. In the last three months, I've interviewed many people to ask them to tell their story about this plan that's going to change our history and our future for good. May God help us all. This will be my last report. My name is Mo Hersey and I'm the last African in Europe. I have a solution for Europe and for Africa. I want to close the borders between Europe and Africa and also between Africa and Europe. And the big nuance is that um, when you are saying about the, you are talking about the right wings, they are talking about closing the borders between Europe and Africa. But for me, is the both. Closing the border, the borders between Europe and Africa and also between Africa and Europe for 20 years. What do you do with people when the borders are closed? The Europeans, if people want to come? No, 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 no. There is no, no question to come. It's over for 20 years. They have to stay, they have to wait. No. traveled towards Greece, Athens, because this is where once the democracy started. But after the big flood that hit the Netherlands, one week after that, a huge financial crisis hits all across Europe, making it the worst human crisis in Europe since World War II. Greece, Athens was once the gate towards Europe, but now has become the gate towards Africa. You have a lot of philosophers. Even Macron, Emmanuel Macron, the president of France, he said about the explosive demography of the African women. I always say, please present me the lady who decided, being perfectly educated, to have seven, eight, nine children. Everybody in Europe, they are afraid about the explosion of the demography of the African people. In uh, 2050, uh, all the Africans will come to Europe. It's like the, the new uh, terrorism, you know, the, 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 the demography of Africa. So, with this idea of closing the borders, we don't need to be afraid anymore about the explosive demography of, of Africans. They can have 10, 20, 5, 50 children. Now we are going, a lot of people in Europe, they have to find another a group of people to blame all their problems on. So probably it will be the Polish people, the Eastern Europeans, for, for example, maybe the Russians again, I don't know. Uh, uh, but it's not my problem anymore. I hated racism because I, I, I just, the, the perfect world for me would be if all the you know, all, if everything, the whole world was open for everybody, but that's never going to happen, I know. Good 
After the borders closed, I myself, an ex-refugee from Ethiopia who's living in the Netherlands, had no other chance than to go back to Africa. I was part of the three A's. The three A's is something that we will always remember forever. The capital of the Netherlands was Amsterdam, but after the big flood, Amsterdam was gone. So we then turned to the second best city of the Netherlands, Almere, where I used to live and work. That became the new capital of the Netherlands. Proud we were. But Almere was overrun with three million refugees from Amsterdam. And it turned into a huge refugee camp. But the water kept on rising and rising. And Almere was also lost underwater. So we then turned to the highest place of the Netherlands, Amersfoort aan Zee, where now more than 6 million refugees live. A common question from the Red Cross and other NGOs that are on the border seeking to help refugees is Where are you from? And are you part of the three A's? And why do you want to go to Africa? Walking around in Greece, Athens, in one of the oldest cities of Europe, I suddenly realized that I'm maybe not the last African in Europe. A lot of countries in Africa are seeking my expertise to give lectures at the University of Nairobi, Lagos, even Abuja, Kinshasa, South Africa. A lot of job offers for me because they've kicked out the white people also from there. What can you offer to Africa? Well, that, that's a good question. I have no clue. Um, <laughs> uh, but I'm an entrepreneur and Africa is an entrepreneurial uh, uh, place, uh, depending on the country, obviously, where you go to. I'm not a farmer and not, I cannot do anything with my hands. Uh, so I can and think and, and build companies and help people build companies. So I need to be somewhere where that, uh, that works and, and happens and I can offer experience and expertise in that area. And I'm very happy about that, that my expertise is well appreciated and welcome in Africa. So nothing good here. Why should I stay here? Don't you feel uh, that you're now taking a white man's job in Africa? The question of me taking the white man's job away from him in Africa they have been the wrong expertise there. They have been the wrong expertise. I have never been there. Africa is a continent of, I, I understood, 50 countries? 54. 54. Okay. So do I have to choose one of those countries or can I just like travel around in Africa and then choose one? You know what I mean? I, I have, I have, I'm like... I'm a little bit confused. You also have other animals in Africa. Yeah. So, you don't want me to take my cat with me. She's half black. Your cat is half black. <laughs> she's a tricolor cat. She's she's like black, a little bit brown, a little bit white. Look, look at this picture. Look how cute. So now all the borders are closed and only the black people can go back to Africa and the white people can't. So they have to stay in Europe because they, yeah, your passport is basically nothing anymore. I had some friends who also wanted to go to Africa, but they, they could not go, you know, there was no, they tried, they tried, they tried, and that's all. And I had a friend who was adopted, a black friend, and he had no problems to go there. And he, yeah, he has never been there. And <laughs> it's funny because he has, yeah. But now, yeah, everybody wants to go there, yeah. Well, there's this one guy who, uh, who offers uh, uh, safe travels. Uh, so I'm trying to be in touch with him to get me across. Uh, 
and otherwise uh, maybe I buy a boat or try and do it myself but uh, the situation in Europe is, uh, is, is not good anymore so we, I, I'm really desperate to get out now. I feel pity for every human suffering but sometimes in suffering you realize your mistakes. Most of these white people now crying to leave the Netherlands for Africa. Most of them have been the people who have been discriminating and doing racism against us here. And now that they are seeking to go back to Africa to ask asylum there, they are welcome. I will be there to welcome them. Just like the IND, the immigration. Yeah? I will be there working with the immigration to see whether their stories are good, whether they meet the requirement to be refugees. So I will be there. And uh, they must have a valid reason to stay in Africa. If you don't have a valid reason, we'll kick you out. This is my home here, so I'm leaving home, really. So I'm going to miss this. I, I, I probably will. I'm, uh, I'm sure of it. I'm not going to wait for the National Goodbye Day to come. I've already packed my luggage. I'm ready to move. I'm going to miss the people also. Uh, but not all of the people. All those racist people, for example. All the people who follow Geert Wilders and PV, the PVV sound, uh, uh, and so on, the Trump kind of, uh, uh, the, the Trump followers or the, the Le Pen followers, I'm not going to miss them. Tomorrow I will be on the flight back to my homeland. Tomorrow. I'm ready now. Shall I play something for you? Maybe if somebody sees it, they bring me back to Africa. I guess. <laughs> Yeah, that's, uh, and of course, Greek music. They, they like this in Africa, or uh, so. Kadisha. I had a girlfriend once. She went back, Kadisha. Maybe I could visit her. You have some people who are going already, um, you know, they are going back to, uh, to Africa. Uh, but for me, it's actually not an option uh, because uh, I don't believe uh, in uh, closing the borders. And, uh, and I also have my family here, you know, I have my kids here. So I definitely am not going to leave them uh, here behind. So, uh, no, my children uh, are, you know, are interracial, uh, mixed. Uh, my wife is white, um, so that's why it's not possible for them to uh, go back to Africa and I cannot take my wife with me uh, to Africa. So, um, you know, I need to be with my family and uh, my family need me and I need them. And of course now I'm going to have to flee. I'm going to have to make that journey, um, that terrible, treacherous journey that I've only heard from the people that I've been helping. And I'm going to have to make it. I mean, Brexit hit us hard. My family are almost out on the street. And we're the ones left behind. We're going to have to take that risk. Why on earth should I have to do that? Why on earth should I have to leave my comfort zone, leave my safety? It's despicable. Nobody should have to suffer like this, certainly not me. They will see it straight away that I'm illegal over there, you know, just because of my skin. So I don't think that's going to be an option then. Or I try and see what happens, but I don't know how strict they are on everything. You know, Africa's in my blood. It's incredibly important to me and I'm not allowed to go there anymore. I've been to Malawi, um, the Congo, I think it's called, yes. I've been to, you know, little tiny countries that begin with L, helping sick, poor families. And I'm not considered on this, this VIP list to go to this incredible place. Look at this. 
you know, I'm ringing, I'm trying to talk to colleagues of mine, they're lucky enough that, you know, they married somebody or got a free ticket somehow, but I'm just not there. There's a lot of stress here, that, that, uh, that's not good. Over there there's less stress. Yeah, yeah. The, the African philosophy is much older and better than the whatever. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Do you ever do you know how to go there for me? Uh, I know, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I don't I don't yeah, I don't think I can take you with me. The time has come for me to go back to Africa, the place I was born. I'm going back to Africa not because I want to, but because I have to. And tomorrow, tomorrow I will start at my new job. I'm really going to miss my old job being a news reporter. But it's time to separate. I'm the guy, I will take you across. I feel sorry to do this, but hey, I gotta feed my family too, you know? Can't come with you, uh, the suitcase. No? Why not? Why not? Uh, come on, let's go. Okay. Come on, 